Hi, today we will be doing a real life poster for a gig for this Lithuanian band Garbanotas and we made this design into a t-shirt which is very exciting. I recorded the whole process with an intention to show you how I did it. If you like to access this PSD file you can support me on Contrabee in exchange and you can access this. Before we start I wanted to share some things one of them being a note that when I do any kind of design doesn't matter if it's for internet or it's gonna be printed. My document is always 300 dpi because sometimes maybe I'll make design so good that I want to print it and you don't print something that is less than 300 dpi but you can watch something on the screen that is more than 72 dpi. So that's just a note. Other than that I will be adding some comments throughout this video that I didn't record it while I was doing it or I didn't think of it. So let's get into it. How I usually do is I'll start with Pinterest and mood for the poster is autumn season closing vibes and they usually play psychedelic rock kind of blues and it's very floaty, very flowery in my head. I'm gonna start with adding some stuff that I like to set the mood. Well, this is a process. I'm gonna play some tunes. I've been thinking about how maybe in the past couple of years I was trying to learn how to do everything quickly and you know I can do sometimes poster in two hours or three hours uh, and it's cool uh, because time is money and I'm not getting paid so I could sit and do the posters endlessly and another thing is that bands usually come can you do a poster do you have time it's like when do you need it mm, by the end of the week and it's like, sure, yeah, I can do it. But then this time, it was kind of a similar situation. However, I thought that, you know, it's gonna take time. And I'm kind of sad that, you know, usually bands come last minute and then you just don't have time to do good work. Like, good to term in my terms. Like, they like it, but do I like it usually? It's okay. And this time, I thought that I will give it time. I will spend time exploring and I'm not gonna be rushing. I'm just gonna do the best that I can because I really want to get better at this and I can't get better if I only do what I know in the quickest way possible. So this may take a while and it's okay. I don't feel the pressure anymore. Sometimes I wish I would know how to draw. What is autumn? Autumn is orange sun, as my friend said the other day. Mmm, I can try using generative fill. I wish I could draw. Fuck. I mean, I could learn how to do it. But can I create this type of art? I'm not sure. I wish. I wish. What is like the closest that I can get to? Ooh, they have black and white images. I can really create something. I'll see what he... their... I think manager. What he sent me. Now I want to use other images. Oh yeah. A beautiful picture great image i think they might have used it they sent me this these files to use so i think i can use this image well you would have mentioned that something i cannot use i really thought that this tool would be a little bit smarter i mean it's pretty it's decent it's pretty smart i'll just say select subject no, I'll select him later. Fucking kidding me. This is so bad. Like, how can you be so bad at this? Like, you, you, you are the smartest so far tool and you are so shit at selecting. I just cannot believe this. I'll open this in the proper Photoshop and then I'll put the thing in there. It's weird, there must be better ways of doing it. Oh, I hate this! I hate this so much. Fuck off. Deselect. Blech. Cannot stand this. Cannot. I'll do it the old way. When I was on a holiday in Berlin and other Europe places, 
and realize that I just cannot do this, these admin things. They're so boring. Like I'm meant to be creating. I want to be creating and then I have to like do admin things like applications and emails and whatnot. I don't like it at all. I'll probably gonna just draw on the mask these strings later on. But first I need to see what I can do. All I want to do is just generate some things. Sand. <laughs> this looks pretty funny. Okay. I don't get it how people get good results. What the fuck? Like, what do I do with this? Maybe they know how to write things. I might just stick to collaging. I don't like this generative thing. And I don't like it because I don't know how to use it. But I have another idea. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny how it looks. So over the years, I have mastered my layers that I can reuse on different kind of designs and I made those into action. And I use this action here, so it would instantly look good. Okay, this is getting better, I'm getting somewhere. I want sun. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is better. <gasps> Ooh, what if I do a blue? No, maybe blue is like this. No. This? No. 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 I like the white. <gasps> suggestions! They're giving me suggestions. Oh, oh, I like that. Maybe even more than the original. Oof, oof. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. You know what's the funny part of all of these works? Is that I do it and I send it to the client and then they can say, we don't like it. It's like, but I spent so much time on it. Maybe you should like it. <laughs> I need to not forget that there's gonna be text somewhere here. Whoa! Didn't know this thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna send them this. I'm not gonna spend more time on it for now. I'll see what they think. After recording this first draft, I decided to try something different, another version. I think I was trying to go from moody and dark to something glowy by using clouds and cursive font. Fortunately for everyone, they approved my first exploration, so we didn't have to continue with this. I am back. I have three hours to finish the design. The band have approved my exploration. They just asked to add a little human being in the design, like something bright, because the design is pretty dark at the moment. I mean, it's like very apocalyptic. But it's the end of the autumn, the winter is coming, you know. It's understandable from my perspective. And I think this is where I'm gonna use generative fill and I see what they can do. Oh shit, I forgot. I'll have to do the text. Oh man. And I need to readjust it so it's for Instagram. And anyway, I need to do the adaptations, I need to do the text, and I need to do it everything in a couple of hours. So this is gonna be fun. Okay, so there weren't any clouds before, but I like the clouds. I think they are fun. There's another thing I really want a candy. I have this best one, you know? Mm hmm. Yes, it's the tastiest. I brought it back from some kind of trip. I mean, it's not that they're, they don't sell it here, but I still have it. Perfect. I really don't like rushing, but it looks like we'll have to. I am slowly panicking. I was at the location scouting previously and I plan to be home earlier. I mean, the fact that I needed three words so this would be generated, this is insane. This is awkward. 
This is also awkward. Oh my god, this is generated. Little human, I mean, I meant little human, like far away, but little human. I think I'm gonna do differently. Okay, I am not mad at this. I just don't like the color. Like a bright little human. This is tainted in blood for some reason. The next thing is I want to center this because it feels super off. I need to measure it and I don't know how otherwise I could do it roughly. See, it feels off. I need to chill. I'm stressing. I'm stressing out. I want to see text options. These are very old. I shot his show in Vilnius. This is crazy. Dixon. I like this poster. It's been here forever. I was never good at text and I think I don't see graphic design. Last time I took Swear. I don't know if I want to do it again. I think I need to turn on the music and get into the flow of it. This is a very fun font. But I, I don't think it worked for me. Nah. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, I like it. But they are not this type of band, you know? You can hear it. This is such a pretty pop font. Pond. I think I found it. It has a variable weight. Incredible. Hey, I wanted some other letters. It's like Jesus, curly Jesus. What if I would use the previous one? I like the last one I did. It was pretty good. I used the regular font. Oh, what? Hmm. No, this is too futuristic. Okay, I like this. Weirdly, I think it fits. Definitely fits the mood. Maybe it's the clouds. Why is this so apocalyptic? Like, why am I doing this? Like, how... These are the moments when I start to hate it because... What is happening? Why is this happening? I like it. But this is... I don't think this is for them. Okay, I need another one. This is creepy, I don't like it at all. Just I really like the font. I'm so afraid they're not gonna like it. Well, it's, I think it's Halloween time. <laughs> No, it's not. Yes, it is! It's literally almost Halloween. Like, works perfectly. <laughs> okay, I need to figure out the other text. I really want to have a smoke. Smoke, smoke. I want to have a smoke. I am just thinking if I need to put the whole logo. I probably don't. They would have mentioned it. Uh, they, they, they said it. <laughs> oh no, they want me to use the green one. You're fucking kidding me. I don't want the color. Sure. I mean, it's fair enough because I recognize this instantly. But it's 
Ew. I need some music. Save me. I don't know how to put these things together. I could do movie posters. They always look like movie posters. I hate text. No, I love text. I know this font. Mm, this one. Nice, I can use this one. This is okay. I think I figured it out. I do like it. I will admit it. The only thing now that I do not like is the bottom contrast. It's too bright. I might put in some redness. What if I use like this kind of brush? I really like it. I actually do. I figured I need to fix that little human. I'm not really sure about its color. Okay, maybe like this. They want it to be a little bit brighter, the silhouette, and without the little steps. So it's okay. I will delete those little steps for this little human. I didn't know that this was new Photoshop thing. Like these gradients, these are really good. They said that they are not sure if they want the person anymore because of the, all the detail up there. I totally understand what they're saying. The thing is that I like that person for like a character idea. It's kind of like you have a storyline, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I like how it looks like. I need to write down what kind of adaptations I need. I usually write them down on a sticky note. So I will have in front of my eyes. I have one hour left. Let's get into it. Okay, so I save this and I'll start with a new one. Dessert or desert? I don't know if this is a type or no. I'll do this. I think one of the main important things for me is to have everything is a smart object just because if i cut it then i'll lose the pixels that are not smart objects so i don't want to lose it another thing is that this is gonna be instagram post i don't want it to look bad um, or like the information cut off in the feed so i always choose one-on-one -on -one and just mark where this square box will be now i know that this square is where the post will be visible in the feed. This part is something I don't really care about. For 101, like a square design, I will remove the little human just because I don't need it, unfortunately. I think it gets too too crowded then. <sighs> I'm talking bullshit. I'm just picking words that would sound right. What I want to say is that I'm not putting it because it cuts off. Every time I sit down, I want to have a smoke. Now I need to do a story. I never remember where the story signs are and I make markings I don't know why I like doing this it makes it look better it changes the perspective maybe here I'm making Facebook adaptations and I usually copy already existing designs so I could mark the blind spots and where the information has to go
This is so fucking frustrated. Oh, yes. Okay, yes, this little shit, shit thing disappeared and I did not enjoy it. Man, I'm scared to press this. Oh my god, I just needed to reset my workspace. All is good. Well, I'll have to admit this ticket distributor is way better than the other one that I had opportunity working with. I don't know how, like, which one is better for artists. I don't care about that. But from the graphic design side, dealing with theirs is like pain. They have like 10 different sizes and stuff and it's so annoying. It's usually like a little, little line. So you have to, I learned over time to do it quick. The first ones, first designs that I had to make adaptations for it, it was so hard. Good. Here is the last stretch of adaptation. What I would do differently next time is I would have different locations and different dates linked together and separate layers and whenever I need to export one or another I would turn it on to be visible rather than you know do the whole city adaptations and then go to every document and like change the dates. That's just a waste of time. And for the print version of this design I got another city's venue's logo, I had to incorporate it into design, which I didn't have before, so the internet versions were the that logo. That is it. If you're still here and watching this, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this longer version video. I know this may not have been the most informative video and I may have missed some important things, notes that are obvious to me but are not obvious to you. So if next time we'll do something like this and you have some burning questions, you can leave them now in the comments below and I will try to go over them next time I do something similar. And of course, you know, don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and share whatever you want to do and you can support me on country, get my textures and everything else. Bye bye!